Because if it didn't, I would manipulate you into doing exactly what I wanted. Because if it didn't, I would whisper sweet nothings into your ears. Because if it didn't, I would use your mouth to influence everyone around you not to go. For the Say Cafe, it's a talking series for the Social Accountability and You website run by ZGF. The idea is to take these important conversations about pressing social issues outside of the website and the social media, into, bring it into a space like this, into a real life conversation, and try to carry it on there. I know that civic participation basically has to do with people engaging themselves, uh, um, coming together, uh, sharing ideas for the betterness of, of their lives and engaging with whichever authorities are there and uh, being, uh, whichever means they use as long as they can share information and give feedback and, and, and strive for the best change. So, so I think the biggest message I have for people out there who may have missed out on the Say Cafe is that there are more coming. We're going to hopefully have one, uh, um, four in 2016, so one every three months. And they'll be on interesting topics that I think we see that people are want to engage with online. So really, you pick the topics. It's really challenging this notion that there is something that needs to change in terms of our understanding of what protest is. I personally am always one of those people that think Zambia needs more protest. We don't have enough. We have a law in Zambia which is, needs to be ironed. And sometimes uh, these are issues which affect us there and then people keep people silent. And, because they're scared of getting arrested because they know if, if they, uh, um, even if they, they get a, a police payment, they, 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 want, they want to be hate. I always give people an example. If you have contaminated water in your house and this continues for three days and you apply for a police payment and they don't give you, what are you going to do? You're going to continue drinking the, the, the contaminated water or you're going to protest? How do you measure the success rate of your protest, so to say? How do you yeah, so it's all like perceptual art, where negative performance, and then you expect to see a reaction. Uh, that boost sphere is uh, technology. If you have friends that are in the media, have this consolidated group of people in the background that can help you have more impact. So sometimes in this new age, I mean, everyone is, is, is on social media, and so. Uh, Creative activism means uh, you have to keep pushing these. Uh, you, if, you, you, you should be able to find a smart way of uh, running uh, a hashtag campaign which can easily uh, reach the, the fast, uh, reach people fastest. And when everyone is campaigning, and the good thing about uh, about using these social media platforms is that uh, you don't need to, uh, to to be located right now here in Osaka. Being, yes, being informed or reading the things on our website is a form of civic participation. You owe that to yourself. You would hunger for my policies like you hunger for food. I <laughs> would make you feel unworthy. I would steal your identity, make you a foreigner in your own country. Civic participation is for both of us, okay? I can't be fat and you can't be skinny. None of us can have too much power. Bowling alone isn't wise. Trust me. I'm your government. You see, the road to success is not paved for the man whose mind is feeble and weak. So every citizen should rise and realize that the development of any nation around the globe is placed in the charge of you and me. And I hope we can rise up and see that certain problems lie far beyond Parliament's gates, far beyond manifesting.